So one of the things I do when I look at every 12 weeks is I look at all the goals that we set. Um, did we accomplish, did we not? Where do we need to pivot and, and, and iterate? And then I, I check a box, right? And it's with all goals, even personal. It's like, if I wanna go run a marathon, I run a marathon, I check it off and I move on because I don't, I don't count my past victories or the company's past victories. I, I think about the future and it's just a, a personal mindset of mine. I wanna you know, congratulate and acknowledge and celebrate the past victories when they're done. And then it's a check and it's moving forward. So we just did an offsite, a leadership offsite. Uh, we subscribe to Conscious Leadership. Uh, we have a, a coach who comes in and for our leaders. Um, we're really big on making sure we have great leaders and for leaders that are coming into the leadership role, we have tools and, and training to equip them to go out and be the best leader and the best version of themselves. With that said, during this offsite, um, um, Buck, our VP of product said, hey, you know, I, this year I think it'd be great you know, Tyler and DJ, you're including us as leaders in this, this 2020 planning, which is amazing, but I think we should also include everybody. And I said, great, propose how we can actually facilitate this and let us look at it. And if that makes sense, we'll, we'll do it. And of course they proposed something, it was great, both DJ and I signed off on it and Buck's been leading this along with the leadership team on, hey, how do we get everybody involved in 2020 planning? Um, and so uh, our first step was, educating people on what it was, educating people how to actually help and, and, and be part of the 2020 planning, um, getting the, the feedback and the information. Now Buck's aggregating that. We're gonna be talking about it with all hands here on Friday of what we plan on doing, but version one is like, get the information, bring it up to leadership. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing a leadership offsite um, sometime in November, I don't know the exact date. And what we'll do is we'll have the leaders come and not pitch or present, but the, the, the goal is here's our vision, keeping brokers and agents connected to the customer forever. How is one of these items that your team and you want to propose lead us there, right? And they have to write a clear path and almost like a press release of like, if we were, if, let's say you wanted to build a product, for example, what does that look like? If we were reading the press, how that, and we, we took this, we didn't, we, we're not about reinventing the wheel. This is something Amazon's known for. It's something they do great where they, they have to, when they had Echo, it's like, what would the press release say if, if Amazon Echo was out and what would it be? And, and it's a true memo style. It's not some, some deck. It's truly where you have to methodically think about how it plays and tends to our long-term strategy, which is keeping brokers and agents connected to the customer forever. And so um, the offsites could be great. They're gonna pitch those. We're then gonna take those, put it into our 2020 plan, solidify it by the end of November. And then what will happen is when we do our uh, kickoff party, we do a kickoff party every January. Prior to that, we usually do an all hands up where we ended 2019, how the last quarter went, and then what we plan on for 2020. And it's kind of this whole rally campaign up to our kickoff party, which is everyone brings a plus one and it's a, a lot of fun.